Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any zombie avatar for your iClone 8 3D animation software. So for this tutorial, we need three software. The first one, of course, is your iClone 8 3D animation software. And the second one is the Corrector Creator 4. At the same time, we need an extra software, which is free. You can download it from Steam. The free software name is Fuse. You can just install it from Steam. All right. And first, what you need to do is just go and search the Fuse. All right. Just search Fuse Steam. Then you should be able to see this. Search on Google, Fuse on Steam. Then you just need to install Steam. Log into your Steam, install the Steam, and then get the Fuse for free. It is really free of charge. And this is one of the software that you need for this tutorial. So first, just install the Fuse and just click install. I already downloaded the Steam. So now, just a few seconds to wait for this. All right, now you can see the installation process is done. I just launch it. It is something like CC4, but it is really easy to create various types of the human humanoid avatar. If you, you want to compare the fields with the CC4, the difference is for the Mizamo fields of the 3D avatar, it doesn't have any of the reads. But now you have the CC3, you can rig it by using the accurate. So now I'm just going to show you how to create a zombie. So now you can see some of the templates here. You already can, can find the zombie template, for example, the female zombie. Right. So three of them. First, I'm going to just click one of it. Double click. Then it is going to show you the head first. Right. Next, I'm going to just choose a zombie's leg. Then I'm going to, to just choose a zombie's hand. Just double click. Right. Next, I'm going to add some cloth. For example, this. Then bottom. Right. Now it is still loading the material texture. Next is the shoes. Choose any of the shoes. Then is the hair. The hair, we can choose it from here as well. I just simply choose a hair as demo right now. Next, I'm going to edit the cloth. Just because of, because of the cloth, this is the zombie. We need to make it dirty a, a, a little bit. So I'm going to choose it from here. Something like dirt wear level. Now you can see this is the dirt here. Do it the same as well for the bottom. The dirt. Then the dirt color you can choose. Let's say if you want to make it bloody, you can just make it like this. Should make it darker. Look like a real blood. Right, something like this. Alright. For the cloth, do it the same as well. The dirt color, just make it bloody. Right. Something like this done. Next is the shoes. Shoes you should make it dirty as well. Just scroll down. And the dirt level, make it a dirty shoes, then change the color. Okay. Next is the hair. The hair is too clean. We try to add some dirt as well. But if you can't see anything, but 
if you can't see anything you just make make the color darker right click okay next we just need to export it as F the obj so now i click file save as i save as a fuse project file first i'm going to open a new folder here on my desktop name this as zombie zero one right now file on my desktop file name zombie zero one fuse file this is just a project file that you still can edit with the fuse so next, I'm going to just click File, Export OBJ. This is the only choice to export the OBJ. The character scale is 1. Then, export in a new folder. All of this, you need to pack the material as well. Click OK. To just export it here, click OK. Zombie01, file name. In this folder, I click Save. Now, Inside this folder, you already can get the OBJ and you can see all of the material already fixed at here already. Pack already, bake. So next, we just need to move it into Character Creator 3. Oh, sorry, this is Character Creator 4, what we call CC4. So we just drag in the OBJ. Now, Control G is for the grid. But now where's the location? Location here is something wrong. So now I did I already deleted and press Ctrl A to see the axis. We want to just drag it to the center. The most suitable place is at the center. So next we are going to rig this, but before that we just need to adjust the material. Because now we just want to check the opacity is that everything goes good. Just right click copy, right click paste to make sure it generate an opacity map and everything will look normal. Now you can see even the roughness, metallic and the bomb already completed. So next we just want to rig it. We click here, you should be able to see the accurate rig is here. Just click and activate the accurate rig. Then click create guides. We are just going to take it easy to create the guides and rig this 3D avatar. So now you can see almost every point the accurate rig already give you. You still can move all of these dots, but if you feel satisfied already, you can just ignore this. Then just click generate skeletons. The number of fingers, it is up to you. So. Click generate skeletons. Now it is going to give you a rig immediately. It is really easy. Just wait for a few seconds. It is ready. So now you can see done. So once done already, just click bind skin. Now it is going to make sure everything all of the skins with it is going to generate properly all together and once done already this is already become a 3d avatar a zombie 3d avatar in your character creator 4 so now i just close this accurate so you can click characterizations to just check it and then Everything ready plotted. Done. Alright, so I turned it off. Next, I can just save this as a CC project zombie01. Click file. Save the project as on my desktop zombie01. Here, name this as zombie01. CC project. At the same time, I'm going to export as i avatar as well file export i avatar export on the desktop zombie01 name this as zombie01 as well click save now you can see the i avatar already generated here so in this tutorial we are going to create 
a zombie for iClone at 3D animation software. We are going to test this zombie eye avatar, drag it into iClone, drag the eye avatar into the iClone, iClone it. And now we have a test. Double click and check everything. Look at this metallic. Sometimes you still can adjust it. If you delete it, it may change some of the dynamics and the roughness. This is the roughness metallic. If you delete it, see what happens. Nothing happened. I control Z to just make it bad. So we test this. We test the animations. Just simply apply an animations from here under the motions. So I choose the female. Perform. We just want to test the animations to see whether it is okay or not. Just drag and try to play. Yes, now for the animation test, everything seems okay and the skin weight is okay. But here, just a little bit, a little, a little bit errors on the skin weight here. But in general, everything is still okay. We check the avatar back. Right, so this is the CC and this, this is iClones. We test one more, let's say the catwalk, the zombie catwalk. Of course, these are not the zombie animation, but this is just for testing purpose. We can have a look. Now for this one, it look okay as well. Change the pose. Right, so everything still look normal. So that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create any zombie avatar for your iClone at 3D animation software. And for this tutorial, I'm going, to, I'm using the Mizamo Fuse. This is a Fuse software that I downloaded from Steam as as a free software, and I use the Character Creator for the accurate functions to just rate the whole OBZ 3D avatar. And finally, it already become an eye avatar. And I avatar in iClone 8 3D animation software. It is ready to create 3D animations by using the iClone 8 for this zombie. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you.